guys, today I am going to be doing a highly requested video and I'm so excited about finally doing it. I am going to show you what's in my MAC palette, my customized palette from MAC that I've created myself and I'm also going to share with you all of my other MAC eyeshadows that aren't in a pre-made, um, what's it called, palette. Obviously, um, so that is what I'm gonna do today, and I'm really really excited about it because you guys have been asking for it for such a long time, and now I am finally gonna do it. Here is my customized um, palette from MAC, and I'm really really happy about it. And I actually made it when I was around 15, 16, something like that, so it is a bit old, but I still really like the colors. I must say, honestly, there are some of the colors that I've never really used, but I don't know, I got inspired from other YouTubers back then and I was just like, I just wanted them. So there are some of the shades that I haven't really used that much, but also some of them that I really love. So let's get into the eyeshadows. The first one here is called White Frost and it is the white one up there. And I just felt like that a good eyeshadow palette should always have a whitish color, I guess. <laughs> I really wanted to use it for like highlighting and highlighting under my brows as well. And I really like it, however, it is very, very white. It is in a frost finish and it is very, very white, as you can see. It is still really, really pretty and I won't say that I've regretted buying it, but I just don't use it that much because it is a bit too intense for like everyday highlight. But if you want to go all out or if you go into a show or something like that, you can definitely wear it and pull it off. It is really, really cool. And the pigmentation is actually okay, as you can see. It is not the greatest, but it's not bad either. And I apologize for my horrible fake tan hands. I know, I know. I'm in a show right now where we have to fake tan and my gloves apparently didn't work. So that sucks. But I know you don't have to tell me. <laughs> the next shade down here is the one called Nylon and this is one of my absolute holy grail highlighting eyeshadows ever, ever. It is stunning and I use it both in my inner corners under my brows. It is the one that I'm wearing today. It is also in a frost finish and it is just so beautiful. It is right there next to the white frost one. I just feel like this color is much more wearable because it's a bit more goldy white whereas the other one is just like a straight up white so really like this one i think it's so stunning and the pigmentation is actually really really good and you can definitely build it up as well the next color down is one of those colors that everybody's got because it's so freaking popular and to be fairly honest i never really use it or reach for it but it is the color called naked lunch and it's kind of like a pingy beigey Color. I think it's kind of difficult to explain, but it's really pretty on the eyelids. It's a great everyday, all over the lid color, if you ask me. It is in a frost finish as well. The pigmentation is okay, um, but as you can see, it's not as visible on the eyelids or on the skin. Um, so it is a great, as I said, everyday shade if you just want some very nice looking eyes that looks like a bit of something, but not too much of something. So I really like this shade. However, as I said, I'm not really ever reaching for it but I, I'm glad that I've got it because it is one of those you have to have that shadow kind of thing. The next color up here is the one called Girly and it is in a satin finish. It's got a tiny bit of shimmer in it but it's not too visible um, and it's kind of like a rosy pink shade and honestly this is one of those shadows I'm just like why the F did I ever buy that shade? I've never really used it. I think I heard Flirted Force or someone like that talking about it in a video a long time ago, like years ago, and I was just like, if she's got it, I need to have it as well. And honestly, I've never really, really used it, so this is kind of like a fail. I'm not really in love with the shade either. The pigmentation, I guess, is actually also kind of okay, but it is just not one of those colors that I would ever reach for, like for real. But it is pretty, so if you're into those rosy pinky shades, you can definitely try it. The next eyeshadow down is also one of those holy grail eyeshadows that we all have to have. It is the one called, can you guess, Set and Taupe. And Set and Taupe is so highly hyped everywhere. It's people's favorite eyeshadow and I do get why because it's a really nice kind of like taupey shade that you can wear all over the eyelids and when you See it in certain lights, it looks different than when you see it in other lights. It has got some silvery shimmers in it as well and it's a really pretty shade and as I said, I do get why so many people like it because the pigmentation is really, really good as well. Once again, it's not really one of those colors that I really reach for that much but it is a pretty all over the lid shade if you want a bit of something but not too much and 
It is just a great everyday shadow if you dare to wear a tiny bit of colour. And the last one in this row is called Patina and I really, truly love this shade. It's so pretty. It is a light brown with golden shimmers in it. It's a frost finish and it's such a stunning all over the eyelids shade. It looks great with all eye colors if you ask me and I just really like it and the pigmentation once again is so so nice. I really truly love this shade. Such a stunning color. The next color is the ever so famous All That Glitters and it is a Velux Pearl finish. It is really really pretty. I really like this shade. I actually like it much better than Naked Lunch. This is one of those iconic eyeshadows from MAC as well and it's such a stunning color and this is also great all over the lid. It is right there, I don't know if you can see it. Very, very shimmery as well, really, really pretty and it looks great on most um, skin tones I would think because even on dark skin people it just looks so pretty and also on fair skin people so this is a really great eyeshadow and I really truly love it. I can only recommend it. The next color down is called Sable and it is also in a frost finish. I like my frost finishes. They are sparkly and pretty. It is a nice golden plummy shade if you ask me and it just looks so pretty on the eyelids and I just really like it. I also like to mix it actually with all the glitters or Naked Lunch. It looks really pretty and the pigmentation is great as you can see. So to me this is also one of those eyeshadows that I really really like from MAC. Then we come to one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's called Star Violet and it is in a Velux Pearl finish and it's such a pretty rosy violet shade. It has also got some brown undertones in it which I really like. It makes it a bit more deep to look at and not as intense. It is right there and it's such a stunning color. I absolutely love it. Moving on we've got Amber Lights. Amber Lights is such a stunning color as well and this is also one of my favorites in this palette actually because it is kind of like a penny color as you can see. Amber Lights is in a frost finish so once again very glittery and pretty and shimmery and I really like that. Great all over the lid. It is right there and it's really pretty. I think it's a great kind of covery color. And if you've got brown eyes, it really looks so pretty as well. And also with blue eyes, all kinds of eye colors is a great eyeshadow. You need it in your life. Next color is Woodwind and also one of my favorites once again. It is in a Velux Pearl finish and it is just a stunning, shimmery, glittery, brownie shade. I guess you could say it's just everything that I want in a brownie, shimmery eyeshadow. I just think it's such a stunning color and I can't say anything bad about it. Once again, if you're into those brownie shades that are just shimmery and beautiful, you once again need it in your life ASAP. And the color is right there, stunning. The next one down is called Sumptuous Olive. Once again, a Velux Pearl finish and so pretty. I really like that greeny, goldy shade that it's got. It is really, really pretty, especially on brown eyes, if you ask me. I think it's such a stunning color. It is right there, and as you can see, it is not as green as you would think. It's kind of like a khaki, goldy green, and I really like that. I think it's very wearable, and I just love it. I've worn it a lot, actually. Next color up here is called Club, and once again, one of those colors that I've really never reached for, and I'm not really sure why, because it's actually really pretty, but I don't know, there's just something about the color that is just not me. I heard Flutter Force once again talk about it, and I was just like, if she's got it, I need to have it, and I've never used it. So, once again, kind of like a fail, but I think that it's a great, like, smoky eye color if you get what I mean because it's got so much reflection in it and there's so many different colors in it. It is kind of like a blue reddish browny shade. It looks really really pretty and I'm not even sure why I haven't reached for it because I really like the shade. There's nothing wrong with the eyeshadow as you can see. It's just me that's weird but we all knew that. And Club is in a satin finish. The next shade of the second to last one is the one down here called Night's Divine. Once again, I haven't really used it that much, but I kind of regret it because this shade is really pretty. It is a deep blue color. It looks like that, and it's really pretty. Great pigmentation once again, and I like that there's a bit of shimmer in it. It is in a Velux Pearl finish, and it's just really pretty. Why haven't I used it? I feel so stupid. And the last shadow here is a black one called Carbon. It is a matte black shadow. I just feel like a good eyeshadow palette should always have a matte black eyeshadow they can use for liner or for smoking up the eye look or whatever. I just think it's a great color. And the pigmentation, it is fine. It is not 
crazy good but it's not crazy bad either so you can definitely build it up but you can also just keep it very downtoned it is right there so not too black but not too little either and then I just want to share my little quad hair with you this is actually my kind of like eyebrow kit if you can say that and you get coquette hair and also the one called brown or boom and I really like these two shades because they're great in the eyebrows and I've used Coquette a lot actually, but this is just a nice little quad with two kind of brow eyeshadows in it and I really like it. Then I've also got like a ton of different like single eyeshadows from MAC. I'm just gonna go through them quickly because I haven't put them into a palette yet. I have got the color called um, Amorous Alloy. It is a extra dimension eyeshadow and to me the extra dimension eyeshadows, they are the best in the entire world from MAC. They are so pigmented. So beautiful and I just really truly love them. The pigmentation in them, they are, it's just awesome. It's on point. It is right there. Stunning. Stunning. And it's just get rid of all of the extra dimension eyeshadows. The next one is called Rich Core. Looks like this. It's kind of like a plummy violet shade. So beautiful. Kind of like aubergine actually when it gets on. So pretty once again, I love it. The next one was from a limited edition. Um, it was from the last year's summer collection from MAC. It is called Silver Sun, also an extra dimension eyeshadow. Really pretty, kind of like a greeny, ocean greeny color. Great if you like those turquoisey, greeny colors. Then we've got Stylishly Mary, such a stunning, kind of like uh, purpley, pinky color. It's right there, very, very pigmented. Great for brown eyes as well, just amazing. And then we've got Legendary Lure. I haven't used the shadow yet, but I really like it. So it's not because I think it's ugly. It's very, very pretty and very pigmented, as you can see. So it's kind of like a browny, bluish color, and I really like it. So pretty. I say really like it all the time, but I truly love it. Let's say love it from that one. <laughs> and the next one is the one called Havana. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I love it. <laughs> Once again, stunning. I have got more fingers. I need to clean them. Right there, brownie shade. Love it. And the last extra dimension eyeshadow is the one called Fathom Steep. And it is such a stunning but kind of difficult color to explain. And I just want to let you guys see it. It's kind of like a gray bluish color as well. I just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just so pretty. I really want to do a look with it. If you want to see it, let me know. The next shadow is a limited edition and it's the newest one in my collection of MAC eyeshadows. It's the one called Everyone's Darling. It's a matte finish. It is a burgundy red color and it's so stunning. I really like it and the pigmentation is just on point. It's right there. So, so, so pretty. I want to do a dark smoky eye with this one definitely kind of like a red smoky eye next shade is one called gesso or gesso i think it's gesso it's a matte finish and it's a white eyeshadow and i like that it's a matte finish as well it is right there you can use it all over the eyelids you can use it as a highlighter if you don't want a shimmery highlighter and the pigmentation is good as well then we've got paradisco i'm not really too keen on this eyeshadow if i must be honest i also heard a youtuber talk about this one and i was just like I need to have it in my life and now that I've got it, I'm just not really interested in it. It is in a frost finish and the color is really, really pretty. It's kind of like a, oh, we need to find space. It is kind of like a, what's it called, peachy, peachy color. Pretty but not really me at the moment at least. And then we've got Omega, which is a matte um, eyeshadow and I actually use it in my brows. It's a great brow color if you've got like blonde hair. So I really like it for that and else you can also use it in your crease and so on. So it's a great crease color or eyebrow color. And the last eyeshadow from MAC is called Pori and it is also in a matte finish. And I bought this one because I heard somebody talk about it being a really good crease color and I totally agree because it's got kind of like a plummy undertone to it which I really like. It is right there, down there. It is very cool tone so if you're going for that cooler smoky eye or cool toned eye makeup look you can totally rock this one in your crease it's so good and very blendable as well and typical me i forgot to show you the color called red brick it is really pretty and a matte eyeshadow that's kind of like red and that was all for this video guys and ah <laughs> there are swatches everywhere i need to wash my hands now definitely but it looks so pretty tiger stripes 
Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful as well. I know that so many of you have been wanting this video for such a long time, so I really hope this was helpful. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, you know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the fake tan hands, can't help it. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!